Hey guys, it's Martin Cliff here with an update video. I um, haven't done one of these for a little while. Uh, it is Monday the 13th of February. Um, and kind of, I, I've been posting quite a few videos on, on my YouTube channel lately, trying to get things moving a bit with that. Um, I just wanted to kind of post a personal update so that doesn't creep into too many of the other videos to any great degree. Um, Yesterday, I, I led worship at church uh, at GCC here in Hong Kong for the first proper time. I did lead just before Christmas, but that was a kind of strange service. Uh, so, yeah, I really enjoyed that. And thankfully, um, my voice held out because you may be able to hear uh, that I've got, I've developed a bit of a, what I think is a throat infection. Um, certainly, speaking is not too easy. Uh, so I may not be able to shoot quite as many videos this week uh, as I'd hoped, but um, I'll, I'll see what I can do. I'm also trying, again, using my, my headset mic, my Rode HT, HS2, I think it is. Um, again, just to help with with sound quality, I'm always trying to make my videos better. Um, so hopefully this will this will help. Let me know if it is helping the um, intelligibility of what I'm saying. I know some people struggle with my accent, but there's not a lot I can do about that. Uh, I'm still running the um, NT1000 as well in the room to capture ambience. And obviously my guitar cabs are mic'd up separately. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope, hope that's all working out for people. Um, it's been a funny old sort of week or two, really. Um, I've had real up and downs in the weather. Uh, I was really suffering with... Uh, my seasonal affected disorder, uh, SAD stuff, um, back in the last week. In particular, Thursday was a complete washout. Um, but then, then I had a pick up. I managed to get quite a bit of work done in terms of... Um, I bought some new lights for my Lego display. Um, I say display, you know, my Lego collection, um, which I have displayed in various dioramas. And uh, in a minute, I'll cut to a video. Um, just kind of going through what I've done in my Lego room uh, for, for anyone who's interested. Um, so yeah, finally managed to, to, to get those lights installed. I've had them since before my operation. So um, I think it was like the 2nd of January I bought the lights. Um, so it's taken me six weeks to install them. But they're in now, except for one set. Um, so I'm really pleased with how well they've worked. And it's certainly going to make working in there easier what will also make working in there easier is that I've not got guitar stands in there in the way. Um, I'm about to cut to a picture, uh, which shows my all my guitars, um, at least all my Hong Kong guitars, um, on, on my two racks just here to my left. And I'm really pleased that A, they managed to fit in, uh, and B, you know, that I have everything there pretty much that that I could need for, for recording stuff. Um, yeah, my live guitars. Um, so yeah, Blue and Mikey are the two I would take out for live. Uh, then there's there's um, Prince, my purple guitar, uh, which I have tuned to E flat, because you always need a guitar in E flat. Um, Snowy is my kind of modern dual humbucker rock guitar. Then um, my Telecaster and my Les Paul, and that covers me for my basses electrically. And then I've got my Ovation 12 string. Uh, my two basses, one of which is set up as the bottom four strings of the five string bass, so it gives me the five string range, and one is just standard tuned, but with a D tuner, and then my Yamaha six string acoustic. So, yeah, the combination there works really well. Um, so, yeah, in terms of uh, that, I will I say I'll cut to the Lego video in a minute just to wrap things up, but um, it's going to be. A, a difficult week. Uh, Thursday marks uh, the the first anniversary of uh, my best friend Michael dying um, last year, uh, which obviously had a massive impact on me. Uh, obviously, I named Mikey uh, my my black sir after him uh, in his memory. Uh, he was one of the, my favourite people for playing the guitar with. Um, I really miss him. So yeah, this this week's going to be tough. It's also a busy week at work. Uh, and with feeling a bit under the weather, both in terms of the, the SAD and the throat infection, um, 
uh, yeah, it is. Um, it, it'll be a, a funny old week, as I say. Uh, but on Saturday morning, um, I, I went out. It was a glorious, cool, crisp, well, it wasn't that cool, but it was cool for Hong Kong, crisp, sunny day. And I went out and I took Blue and Mikey out uh, and shot some cool RC guitar pictures. Um, I had a little mishap where at one point I had them balanced up against a tree and, and they fell over. So I have a small ding just on the back of the neck of, of Blue. Um, you know, I just took a little bit of emery board like you use for your, your fingernails just to smooth off the rough edge a little bit. And it's, it's I can tell it's there, but it's not really a, a, a problem now. Um, it's just, just one of those things that happens wear and tear but other than that you know, I've got some really cool pictures which I posted up on my Facebook um, and I'll put a link a gallery specific link in the description below uh, yeah really you know chuffed with how they came out so that that was a, a fun day but what I did realize was that um, I realized quite rapidly because it was a reasonably long walk that I did with them I you know, went through the school grounds and then over the hill and down along the beach and along the promenade um, that my double guitar case, my old Ritter double guitar bag that I've had for like nine or ten years, uh, was never that great, and uh, certainly now is definitely not. Um, the strap's not very good, so I am looking to pick up a a better quality uh, double guitar case. Um, I'm looking at the Mono one, um, the M80, which uh, seems to 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 meet everything um, that I need. So. Yeah, uh, watch this space for that. If I do get it, and if and when, I'll do a quick review about it. Um, but yeah, the Ritter bag's getting a bit old, and the straps were never great. So it's starting to feel quite heavy by the end of it. But still a, a fun morning. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling uh, and cut to, to the Lego Room video. But have a great week, and I'll speak to you soon. So my Lego room is still very much a work in progress, and you'll have to excuse the mess. Um, but I wanted to show the, um, the the progress of it so far. It's been a while since it's been been a state when I've been felt like showing it to anyone. Uh, this is a bed base that I've got. Uh, what will become uh, my Hoth uh, diorama? So you can see there is a couple of the big Echo base sets, but a couple of. Uh, ATATs and uh, ATSTs. There's a whole load of stuff just on the base at the moment just because I am lacking room. Um, but then there's my main rack and up here we have various ships, TIE Fighters and A-Wings and all that kind of stuff up there, X-Wings. Um, but then as I come down to um, the Ewok Village, which again has a lot of work needing because I had to strip the whole thing out when we moved and I've just not had the time or really the motivation to do a whole lot with it. Um, but I've now got these little, as you can probably see just at the top, these little LED strip lights in. And they're fantastic because I was using uh, those clip lights um, that I'm using to light up the, the Echo Base. And that, they're, they're fine, but they really need to be quite a distance away to give a decent spread. So over there, you know, they're, they're like two and a half feet away and that's fine, but there just isn't the space for that on this install. But these LED lights are really good. Um, so I've managed to put them in. I've got one more set that is gonna go in sort of under that shelf just to light up the back of that. Cause obviously the, from above they're lit from the room light. Um, but I've put put those in under under every shelf, so it provides a fairly even illumination. I say a lot of work to do on it on the Ewok Village, um, and even more work to do on this, which will be my kind of prequel era come Clone Wars um, build. You can see there's a turbo tank and a couple of ATTs and ATAPs at the back. Um, and this is my sort of Mandalorian base, and I'll have various other things, a couple of spider droids and uh, corporate alliance tank droids and stuff will be going in this area here. Then as I come down, just shift that box. This is a kind of combination 
Rebels and Rogue One uh, install because they all take place around the same kind of time period. So there's some ATDPs, there's the Scarif thing, um, U Wing and a Y Wing, and at the back, Captain Rex's ATT and some um, speeders and all that kind of, that kind of thing. Um, coming right down. At the back there, there is my Mos Eisley Cantina with a couple of flash speeders in the front. Um, they're giving chase to some rogues. Um, and my little Naboo Starfighter, which is on a kind of water thing. And that was just an experiment that I've kind of liked. Uh, and finally, um, there is my Force Awakens thing. Again, the, the you know, work in progress. It's nearly there, this one, but I need to just tweak a few things and there's a few pieces just lying around on the front, like on my flame troopers. Um, the resistance um, transport there is, is just hung up, hung up uh, with a couple of pieces of fishing line, so it's able to fly. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm really pleased with how the new lights and actually getting some fishing line simple things have, have really helped this install and made it all look a lot better um, I am very limited for space um, but I'm quite pleased with with how it's come together mm -hmm.